Today I'll be going through a design of experiment analysis that calculates the airflow over an airfoil using the open source code OpenFoam. To access the Rescale platform, open any web browser and go to platform.rescale.com to log into your Rescale account. Once you've logged in, you'll see your main jobs dashboard. This is where all the jobs you've saved or executed are stored. You can create a new job by going up to the New Job button, or you can access a job you've already run. I'm going to open this Open Foam DOE example. This job will calculate the lift and drag coefficients for airflow over an airfoil. The first screen you'll see is the setup page, where you can choose your software and hardware configurations. These are the current software codes we support. You can see that we are also able to support in-house codes, so if you use any proprietary software, you can also access those on your Rescale account. To select simulation software, you can just click on the icon. If the code requires a license, the platform will automatically prompt you for that information. Rescale also supports multiple versions of a code and can utilize MPI. After you've selected your software, you can scroll down and choose which compute configuration you'd like to use. For this job, I'll leave it set at two standard cores. Once you've selected the hardware and software, you can move on to the workflow section. The workflow section is where you can upload input files for your analysis, set up DOEs and optimizations, as well as enter processing scripts. In terms of where Rescale fits into the overall analysis process, you would do your pre-processing on your desktop using the GUI provided by the software code. Right before you would press solve or submit to execute the analysis, you would upload the input files to the Rescale platform. At the top in the workflow design section, you can set up a DOE or optimization. For this simulation, we are running a DOE with airspeed and angle of attack as the variables. You can specify your variables by either uploading an Excel file or by entering them manually. You can enter more variables as needed for your analysis. Next, you can scroll down to the configuration section. This is where you upload input files and custom templates and scripts required for your analysis. The last step is where users enter the commands needed to execute the simulation. Users are also able to enter pre- and post-processing scripts here. Once you've finished with the setup and workflow pages, you can execute the job by clicking Submit in the bottom right corner. This is the status page and allows you to monitor your job in real time. Right now, the input files are validated and the platform is provisioning the cluster. The process usually takes between 2-5 to five minutes and then the job will begin running. Rescale also offers a unique monitoring system called Live Tailing, and to best demonstrate this, I'm actually going to switch to an identical simulation, but one that has been running for about 30 minutes. Underneath the Progress section, you'll see Rescale's unique system, Live Tailing. This allows users to monitor the output files generated by the analysis. If you click on the current run, it will give you a list of the output files. Here's the log file where users can see how the job is progressing. If at any time you notice an error, you can end the simulation by clicking the Terminate button. I'm going to make one final job switch and go to this exact same simulation, but one that is already finished. Here in the Results tab, the post-processing script we included earlier in the workflow section enables us to view the lift and drag coefficients, time, and objective function directly on the browser. This helps users determine which files are most important and need to be downloaded. Once a run is finished, you can see those specific results as well as download that individual data file. Users also have the option to download the full set of results. The last section is Charts. Here you can look at the results in a customizable chart format. If a particular data point is of interest, you can click on it and go back to the results page where you have the option to download that individual result. The last couple items I'd like to highlight are in the top right of the screen, sharing and cloning. The share feature allows you to quickly share your analysis files, setup, and workflow with your colleague. Once someone shares the simulation with you, you'll get an email letting you know a shared job is now in your account. The clone feature copies all the components of a simulation and makes an exact copy in your own Rescale account. This allows you to copy a job and make any adjustments as needed. It makes it much faster to make changes to an analysis and rerun the simulation. And now you have a complete overview of the Rescale platform. Thanks for using Rescale!